a video yesterday about Flexbox and just showed a real brief example with the nav bar of how you could um, do a layout with Flexbox. And I wanted to, to go into a little more detail on how you can use Flexbox. What I have here is this website, just a static website, and it needs to look like this right here. This is a project that we had in class several weeks ago. Um, well, actually, it might have been a couple of months ago. I can't even remember. It all runs together, but um, you know, things like this, it, it, it can be overwhelming because you see kind of this finished product, and then you know, if you don't have, and this is the uh, over here is the CSS file for it, where you get the index, um, you have all the information. Um, and then the CSS is empty. So when you see this over here, you know, it's supposed to look like this and then it's all kind of jumbled together. It can be overwhelming figuring out where to start. Uh, I'm not going to get into a lot of the CSS. I'm not going to edit the, the pictures or anything like that. Um, but just to give you an idea of how uh, Flexbox can work. So the first thing to do when you're looking at something like this is, like I said, with Flexbox, um, like these items here uh, for the nav bar where you've got about me, the Facebook, and then contact me. Um, you don't really want to concentrate on each of those individual items. What you need to concentrate on is the container that contains all those items. And so really the first thing we want to do is, is look for that container. Um, and we see right here we've got the link, the about me, the icon, uh, and then the contact me. And they're all in this container called nav row. Um, so what we want to do is let's take this nav row, <clears throat> we'll go into CSS and we're just going to target that container and we'll do display flex and we do want it to be uh, a row which is the default but I always set it to row um, anyway and we're just going to do no wrap. Um, yeah, even though row is the default, I like to specify it just because I can. And then we'll do, um, it looks like here, you know, we do have this space around option. And that's what it looks like, because it looks like it kind of has space around. It's not even, so we may need to add some margins to it, but that looks like that'll get us started. So let's do justify content space around. And it is aligned in the center of that box. So we want to do align items center. And that should be enough to get us started. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. Uh, let's take those uh, dots off. Because um, that's going to bother the heck out of me. Um, let's see. So that, that looks pretty good. Um, one thing I do like to do is add a background color to it. Um, just so I can kind of see what I'm working with. We'll do um, light gray. Just, uh, just so we can kind of see. And, and so, you know, obviously that's not very big, so we probably want to uh, increase the height of it. Um, I don't even know. That's pretty good, I guess. Uh, there's some space at the top there, but it looks like they have that there as well. So anyway, that, that's good enough to get us started. Um, so the next thing is this I beer right thirsty, my friend. Whatever that is. We're not even going to worry about the fonts. We can just do cursive and um, and uh, sans serif uh, just to get the idea. We're not really going to bother with a whole lot else, but let's just see what that container is. Um, let's go back here. So let's find right thirsty, my friend, and I beer, and it's all in this container called um, header content. And you can see that's the section that's holding this. Looks like all that's also in another section, another uh, header section. So let's actually grab that entire thing because I think that may be what we want. Um, let's go here, make a new one. And uh, you can see all that stuff is just centered right in the middle. So we're just going to say justify content center, align item center. And yeah, let's see what that looks like. We'll do, um, let's see. Uh, you know what? It didn't do anything, and here's why. Because I selected this, um, this outside container, and you really have to select exactly what's holding the content you want to change. So I've centered this header content, and the header content is centered. It's saying, oh, yeah, we centered it. You're good to go, but it's just... 
it's just centering what's inside and this this it's like a container inside a container so it's centered the container that's inside the container but all the content is still um, there were you know we haven't really touched it so what we need to do is we need to go back and change this to this and let's refresh and obviously I'm not very smart because um, I'm not doing something here let's see section class header content I see just oh duh um, you have to do display flex and there we go um, and then the other thing we want to do is you can see the default is row and so we're gonna do um, we want to change that to columns so they stack on top of each other and I always do flex flow even if I'm not going to use the wrap feature I just got in the habit of doing flex flow and flex flow is a shorthand for flex direction and wrap um, so I just always do them both um, we probably don't really want a wrap because it really wouldn't make any sense and wrap is the default so um, so you see that's looking pretty good let's put a background color on this as well um, do uh, tan. All right, there we go. So obviously we want that to be quite a bit bigger in height. Um, and and the nice thing is if you don't uh, specify a width, it just takes up you know the the full amount of the page. Um, and so you can specify that width if you want to. I don't really see a need to, but you could do width. Um, I really like VW, so you know you could do like 75 VW, um, and see that'll uh, shrink it down to a little bit smaller portion of the page. But um, not going to do that for anything. We're just going to leave the width on there, so you can kind of see um, what it is. But we do want to specify specify height because it looks like that will help us out a little bit. So we're just going to use pixels for everything, just because. Um, and we'll do maybe, I don't know, 350 pixels. Let's see what that looks like. It's probably too big. Uh, let's get closer. We'll, we'll do that. Um, let's see, let's, let's go back here. You know, I'm not even going to mess with the fonts or anything like that. Um, you know what, I lied, I will, because I'm very anal retentive. Let's do main heading, uh, I beer. And I've got time this morning, so um, font family, sans serif, um, font size, how big is it? Pretty big. Um, 30 pixels. Uh, let's see if that looks like bigger, Ethan. Perfect. Um, let's see here. Okay, and then this other one, what's that called? Um, do, 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 subheading, naturally. Let's do uh, color white, um, font family, cursive, uh, font size, I don't know, 45 pixels, I'm not really sure. Okay, and then um, want those closer together. Here's a little trick you can do, um, margin. Top negative a hundred pixels. Maybe not quite so much. Cool. Um, so you can see that's getting there. Whatever. Um, and so the other thing is, and I'm really not going to get into a whole lot of this other stuff here, but just to kind of. Yeah, my main goal is to kind of show you how you can arrange everything really quickly with Flexbox. Um, and so if I feel like I've done that, then, then we're good. Uh, you can see here that um, 
looks like this section down here on the page is uh, is this kind of uh, uh, sidebar we have here and then all this other content is on the main page and I'm assuming let's take a look at it um, so this is in a div what does it say freaky dragon dinosaur so we've got a title a body they've got an image in here let's kind of see what the wrapper of everything is um, okay so this is blog row and that contains all that information um, okay so blog row must contain all of this stuff right here so let's take blog row and like I said yeah the the main thing with uh, Flexbox is just finding what the container is of everything so we're gonna do blog row and I'm really not exactly sure um, how this is gonna work it looks like everything's already in a column so I bet if we give that uh, Gosh, let's see here. Because it's kind of taking up the whole page. Um, maybe if we give it a width of, you know, I don't know, uh, 200 pixels. Let's see if that does what we want it to. Okay, so we're getting there. Um, we could probably make it a little bit more. And so, yeah, you can see we're, we're, we're getting somewhere with that. Um, And I'm just taking an, another look at everything here. It looks like there's another container that we might want to target. So we've got everything inside main. So let's take a look at main as well, what main is doing. Main must be this section here. And I guess if we've got, so we've got blog row and then we've, so blog row is this part and then the sidebar thing, whatever it is. Um, I don't even know, I can't, oh, here it is, uh, uh, aside is in that. So both of those are within main, uh, but they need to be side by side. And the reason they're not side by side in ours is because they're in divs and the default uh, for div is to stack on top of each other. So let's go back to the main CSS and that one was just called uh, main and I'm not even gonna, um, it may have a class, I haven't even looked. Uh, so we're just gonna do main we're going to do display flex and we need to get them side by side so we'll do flex flow uh, the main thing we're interested in is the direction uh, let's great job Ethan you're amazing at typing uh, flex flow we want row and you know no wrap it doesn't really this seems like a pretty static site so I'm not gonna you know if we wanted it to be um, uh, more versatile uh, we could do a wrap on a lot of things but we're not going to uh, now that that one down there we probably want to put a width on it as well and that is I think it's just a side yeah we'll just call it a side um, width it's probably about the same as the other one that we did um, 250 pixels maybe probably a little bit smaller actually but you know that'll get us started and then and so now you can see we're kind of getting somewhere uh, in terms of alignment as that is the other thing with main it looks like is that main has everything centered and so we're going to use flex again to target that um, center so we've got it uh, on a column the way we want um, let's do justify content center and then I think we probably want align items in the sender as well. And you can see that's getting us pretty close there. Um, let's do align item center. I don't really think that's going to do anything because I think they're already centered. Um, okay. Oh, yeah. We don't want that, do we? That's just going to center them like that. So we will, I mean, the, the default is flex uh, start, but. I like to call it out and specify it anyway, just because. Um, 
So anyway, see that there, uh, you know, and, and so from here, it's really a hop, skip and a jump, um, you know, because at this point, we're just, you know, just rearranging things within the page. Um, just as an example, uh, one more thing here that we'll do is you can see they've got the date, the category, this little icon here, um, like this. Take a look at how they've got that. And, and so those are kind of flexed across. So obviously we can tell right now without even looking at, at what's going on here is, is here they want these separated on either side. So let's think about why it's looking like this. It's looking like this because both of these are probably in their own separate div. Date is in a div and category science is in a div, which is making them stack on top of each other. So if we think about what we want to do with flex, what we'll need to do is uh, make this container that's holding both of those, uh, both of those divs, a flex box, and then uh, flex those, uh, change the direction to a column, and maybe do space around so it, it spaces them out. So let's go ahead and do that and see if that works the way that we want it to. Um, we'll find that first one up here. Um, let's see. So we've got blog row wrapper. Um, and yeah, it's exactly like we thought it would be. Uh, they've got a div for date and then a div for category. Exactly like we thought, and then a span in each one. Um, and so um, what we want to do, and this, uh, and both of those are contained in this div called meta. So let's take that, and I wonder if, um, yeah, each of those are actually in their own meta div. So if we just change uh, that one meta, It'll actually change all, all of them uh, down here. So let's, that'll be nice. Um, so meta, we're going to do display flex. And we're going to do flex flow again. And we're going to say um, we want it in a row and um, no wrap again. There are times you use wrap, especially if you want a, a responsive website. Most of the time I use wrap because but you kind of have to think about wrapping, you know, from the beginning. You want things to wrap a certain way uh, for the site to be responsive. This one seems like a really static site. We don't know how it's going to work, so we're not going to bother with that. But, um, you know, FlexFlow, no wrap. Uh, and then we'll do justify content, um, probably space around is what it looks like. And then we'll also do align items, align items, uh, center, just cause that's a uh, great speller. Uh, let's see what that looks like. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, um, let's take a look at this and see what's going on here. Yeah, that's, uh, that's not too bad. Um, oh, I, I think that icon that's not actually there is messing us up because uh, it's got this, this little icon here that should be in the middle of that. Um, but yeah, so I mean, that's, that's looking pretty good uh, as, you know, as far as what we want. Uh, then you're just talking about you know, doing the title. You've got an image. You've got a place over here. Um, but that's really the gist of it. Um, you know, with Flexbox, you can really quickly change a lot of these things without having to do a whole lot of work yourself. You know, messing with margins and everything, it does all the heavy lifting for you. So anyway, I wanted to show you that. Um, hopefully that helps out as you're thinking about page alignment and, you know, how you can kind of do some of those things more quickly. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out. Thanks a lot.